Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, I'm in the Church of El. It's been a while since I've played this game, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but we're back with the sorcery playthrough. And we're back again, struggling against this tree sentinel here. So, the main goal of today's video should be and would be to take out Godric. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Let's sort of like start off with a bang and let's kill the tree sentinel. And I've been struggling against this guy for quite a while. Jesus, he does a lot of damage. Or more like Jesus, I have like no HP at all on this character. So yeah, fuck, did I just lose my souls? I did. And I swore too. If you don't know the real Discord tech about uh, YouTube is that if you swear in like the first minute or two minutes of your video, you have like a chance of being screwed over. Uh, that's like the uh, secret Discord tech. Anyways, this is the Tree Sentinel fight, and man, do I not have any HP on this character. And man, am I playing bad because I've not played this game in quite a while. Oh, thank... Fuck, you missed. Anyways. I still wanna, like... Not break my promise of killing this guy, but man, he has so much HP! Like, I'm supposed to be very powerful now. Jesus. Maybe it's just melee. I should be using melee against this guy, too. Anyways. One of these days I'm gonna kill this guy, and there's gonna be a couple of cuts, but you will see the attempt right here. Actually, this is the, the same attempt, but I'm priming you up for any, like, potential edits. Because, man, do I feel like there are gonna be some edits here. Yeah, I feel like maybe a hybrid approach here is warranted. A hybrid approach of like actually using my weapon. I have that dope magic shield spell too. Oh man. Your accuracy is so bad, and am I happy about that or what? There was a point where I was much weaker, and I did really good against this guy. Not sure if I can recreate the magic, but... Ha! The magic. How did that miss? I almost feel salty about that missing. Now we got this. I'm locked in. So you got that magic sword too. And that is good. I actually have a weapon that properly scales to my like abilities. Gotta be real careful though, because this guy is all about them one-shots. He's... Ugh, the input read. Do you see the input reading? Yeah, eat shit, bitch. Come on. Don't lose interest. Come on. Can he not? Okay, I thought he couldn't navigate. I'm like, damn. Jesus, some of these misses, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Ooh. <laughs> that probably would have one-shot me, like, a couple of levels ago. Drop that shield. 
you're dead. Alright, then I don't actually have to cut anything out, so that little primer... Jesus, he only gives 37... So I lost more souls than... Man, I've talked about this before, but the the soul like scaling, or I don't even know what to call it, in this game is so messed up sometimes. Like, it's just, it's whack. Like, very powerful enemies, bosses, barely give anything. And then you have like, man, the trolls, you know those trolls, they give like 1200, so I like kill three of them and I have more than I got from this guy, it's not even enough for a level. <coughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop being salty, let's try Godric, first demigod, here we go. It's been a long time since I fought this guy, but he should be easy compared to the other ones. Cool cutscene though, this guy's a bitch. Take care of your nails, dude. Seriously. Oh, I never noticed he has six fingers. You know, as much of a bitch as he is, in terms of the lore, his design is really good. Uh, yeah, really, really good. I totally... Oh, come on. Is he gonna be like one-shot city? Because I have no HP. That was a counter hit, to be fair, but... Really? That's how much damage we're dealing? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm supposed to be OP. I'm sorcerer. Jesus, that is delayed a lot. Whoa! Okay, just be careful. Thanks, camera. His laugh. So this should be good because I can get a lot of hits in. Let's heal. Hmm. I'm like actually dealing no damage to him. Oh, I hate that attack. There's instant start up too. How fucked up is that? Like it there's actually no way to avoid damage there. Yeah, I'm actually dealing no damage to him. I was expecting a little bit more. It's with my weapon too. Like, what do I have this thing up to? It's a plus four though. It should be a little bit better than this, right? Weird. I you can summon Nephili, but I don't know when. Are you gonna be stupid and get stuck? Tracking though. Four, five. God, camera, please cooperate with me. He's always gonna go for that too. The thing is, if you, I think, so he has two options out of that.
the jump and that attack he did. The like shockwave. And the shockwave is the one you don't want because that's like a lot more difficult to avoid. Yeah, I don't think I can actually outlast him, can I? In terms of like the spells and shit. Hmm. I know I'm under leveled by the way. It's not that. This is a cool cutscene though, you gotta admit. Probably the best transition. In that there's actually like something preceding it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous but so cool. And his voice actor is really good. And it's such a shame that they reused this boss. Okay, I got burnt. Oh shit. Well, I'm out of heals. So I can... Yeah, that's the attack I like didn't know for a long time how to avoid. Please do the jump, come on. Yes! Fucking finally. That's the attack you want him to do. Maybe I'm not doing so bad at all. I, like, after all. Please jump. Please jump. Yes! No! I hate that attack so much. Oh! I didn't know he had that. I don't think I've ever seen that. He has a grab too? Huh. Cool. I didn't know he had a grab. That played out actually really well with the animation too. Uh, yeah, I'm like... My weapon. That's the thing that sucks. Oh yeah, and I've not visited this guy, have I? Hold on, let's just do some... Like, random side content. I don't know why. Yeah, here he is. Interestingly, he still has enemies in his castle. Like, dude. It's in pretty bad shape, not gonna lie. Guy really hates Godric, doesn't he? <laughs> Interesting. This guy is really cool. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't do I completely missed him. Hmm. I thought, because he was talking about his like little cult or something, and I thought you could join. But apparently you cannot. Uh, what the hell am I going to do? I think what we're going to do is... Was that the patch? That wasn't the Patches Cave, was it? Let's visit the, the Patches Cave. Because, like, there's stuff there. Namely, Patches. Oh, what the hell? This guy's here? Oh, he's the one that helps you out against the... Yeah, the invader, who I've done already. Jura. 
Not a reference at all to Bloodborne. This is a really cool armor set. I completely miss this guy too. It was weird when he showed up, like when the three fingers takes over him in the mountaintop and it's just like talks to you like if you've met him and I was just like I completely missed this guy okay and I actually think I already have the patches catacomb unlocked I just didn't go into it which is pretty stupid because I could have just warped here, uh, but hey, that's all good. All right, let's clear this out quickly. Patches is a bitch too, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, for these guys, I am OP. These like bandits. Actually, come on, Crystal Burst. For once, no. This is why I, this this is what I'm talking about. Like, you look at this spell, and not only does it take ages to charge up, it deals about as much damage as my. What you call it? Glintstone Pebble. So why would I ever go closer to the enemy and have a spell with a longer wind-up to deal less or barely as much damage as the Glintstone Pebble? That is why this spell is so absolutely terrible. I went the wrong way. And apparently there's like an even shittier version of it too. Which I have not yet found, but I unfortunately will. Mr. Patches. See, the weird thing is, like, this is probably the only game where patch Patches actually kind of has a point for attacking you here in the start, because you are trying to, like, steal his shit. <laughs> All you need is a couple of glintstone pebbles. You can kill him, of course, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> and I like it that it says enemy felled. Let's kneel. Do the Slav kneel. Let's get up and close and personal patches. This is how you should have a conversation with patches. No other way. It's like so creepily realistic in this game. Well, I kind of just killed them. All right. Cool patches. I just I, I don't know why. I just wanted to do this. See, I'm thinking that the only way I think I have a chance against Godric is to go full spells. I think with three charges, I I should have him. God, I 
hate that. So that's the attack I really don't like. Because otherwise, it's all good. Because you can blast him a lot while he does that. And you know, I do have enough with three Cerulean Flasks to kill him. It's just that goddamn... Oh, hello there. The goddamn attack where he does those blast waves. It's so annoying. Maybe it's dodged towards him. This guy doesn't have a complicated moveset. It's just about getting to him. Plus I do have a heal. I gotta remember that I have a heal from my physic. Which I need to use. God damn, just a fraction of a second too late. He goes on for a while there, doesn't he? What is he doing? Oh, he's doing that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I still have a... This should be good. If I don't screw up, like, majorly, we should be okay here. Ah, speaking of screwing up majorly... Stay nice and far away. And he's done. Yeah, okay. So the solution was just to go all spells. Pew, pew, pew. Indeed. Yeah, he does a lot of his like long, windy attacks when you do this. So that's very convenient. Especially in the second phase. He just didn't do the blast too much, which is the annoying attack. We got his great rune, which... I think, what the hell is this? This is just like a... Okay, Elden Ring. That's, that's all fine. I don't know if I'm gonna use his Great Rune. There isn't like a magic-oriented Great Rune in this game. So, I guess I could. I mean, it increases all your stats. Your intelligence as well would be helpful. Not sure. Anyways, I've never actually ever looked around in this arena, but it's kind of... So, this is a weird arena. Nothing too interesting about it, honestly. Cool, we do have a shit ton of levels, though. Uh, we don't have a shit ton of levels. I was expecting a lot more than that, that's for sure. So, we're going to pump up to 23. And... I want to get at least to 20 Vigor soon. We'll come back later. We do need to... Oh yeah, this guy. Apparently this guy gets you... Uh, what you call it? One of those ultimate upgrade materials. He has some quest. But this guy is such an asshole. Is, is that his head or something? Or his torso as well. Weird. Yeah, he does. And I think what ends up happening is he'll end up selling those. Oh, he sells the Kestis or Cestus or whatever. He'll end up selling those things in the end. 
or like he'll sell one of those whatever it don't matter let's visit Selen uh, let's see if I can pick up I think one of these spells I can use now this one crystal barrage this one sucks too doesn't it I think I think you do have to purchase all her stuff to get the the advancement for questline yeah I think this is the other spell that people talked about the other worst spell in the game uh, let's just test it out I'm sure it's better than this interesting this is gonna do no damage I am already a hundred percent sure on that it's gonna like tickle the enemy let's test out that theory <laughs> oh man does it tickle are you actually serious with this I mean the dam damage is and I do <sighs> so bad it's so bad I don't know why FromSoft always makes these types of spells so weak. That thing in Dark Souls 2 always comes to my mind. You know that thing that it's like an orb and it rains down spells? That one is so bad too. Are you kidding me? Am I getting ganked out of... That was a little bit unfair. St what a strange interaction that was, right? Unbelievable. Anyways, we need to go back to the round table hold. Because we have some stuff there. I, I'll just straight up use Godric's uh, soul because it's it doesn't like get made into anything spell related. <laughs> I love this thing so much. God, they were definitely on drugs when they came up with this. Let's just speed this up along. Okay, I'm bored. I, I remember this dialogue. <laughs> Thank fuck you can skip dialogue in this game. Alright, give me them items. All right, yeah, you make the axe or the the dragon thingy. This thing is... Wow, it actually has pretty hefty stats. Hmm. This one is more interesting. It's like a little dragon fist. It actually can fire spells. But yeah, completely useless. Uh, we're going to pop it now. And we can also meet... What's his name? And have a bit of a discussion. What up, Ansha? Oh, you can't even talk to him. All right, he's gonna give you the dialogue or give us, but we all know this, right? All right, he's definitely not gonna turn evil, right? He's not the type. Sorry, I didn't summon you. Oh, I completely forgot this. I don't even remember what this does. Arsenal talisman. Raises... Ah. Not needed. For this character especially. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, by the way, you might be asking why I've not done anything with the spirit summons just yet. I'm going for a particular spirit summon for this playthrough and not the mimic tier. There's apparently a really OP one, but we're going to have to wait for quite a while to get it. And the spells are already so strong in this game that I don't think it's going to matter. But I don't really know. Let's see if we can. No, we can't. We need the second level smithing stones. All right. I think we can. See, I haven't visited this cave yet, but we can plan our little journey out a little bit. Uh, we'll go past Godric in the next episode. I actually have been going for quite a while. And yeah, Leornia is going to be important. What I'm also going to do is we'll go back to... What's her name? Selen. And clear out her spell stock. And I think that should advance her quest line. Because I think she does give you more powerful spells later on. Especially if you give her the books. Yeah, and I think what I'm going to do just off screen is just visit that cave. Pick up a couple of upgrade materials. But once we do get to Kaelid and all that, I should be able to... Not Kaelid, Leornia. I should be able to start sort of getting the stuff I actually want, bo both spell-wise and weapon-wise. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I hope to catch all of you next time. Oh yeah, Rogier is here. Peace out and goodbye. He has no actual interesting dialogue, I think. Whatever. <laughs>